most of my friends and gangs. My new nickname is Genghis Khan, but without the yay, but his last name's my side. I ride with that demeanor. I'm armed to the teeth. You're Venus, and you've never been to the Venus. What's up, y'all? <laughs> What, a, what am I doing here? Like, I don't even know what this is. I seen Oprah Sai react to it. Y'all know I made some Pretty Boy Fredo videos before. So, I mean, I guess let's just see what he's talking about. Like, surviving. First of all, get a new, get like, get like that title, bro. Nah, because we associate that title with one thing. So, let's get, get, get a different title. But let's see what he's talking about. Before I start this video, I just want to clarify some things. One... This is between me and Fredo. Fredo, Fredo, listen to me, bitch. And the internet. Listen to me, bitch. This is between me and you. The same Malik, the same Jabari, the same Ken, the same Keith, the same Dan, the same. This is between me and you. Your time has come. You, I, 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 I. So I think the backstory is that this dude is actually in SSH. And he, I, I, I don't know. He has a grudge with Fredo. Maybe Fredo cheated him on some money. I mean, Fredo, I watch Aiden Ross and a couple other YouTubers, and probably this dude too, say that you make fake charity videos, bruh. Fake charity videos? Like, Aiden Ross don't talk about nobody. And he said you make fake charity videos, bruh. I'm going to let y'all in on, some, on a little secret for y'all that's young enough and y'all don't know. Are you making fake charity videos and trying to use them as a tax write-off? Because you're going to jail if you're doing that. Like, be careful with the fake charity videos. Fake pranks, whatever, okay, fine. But do not make no fake charity videos, bro. And they're trying to claim it on your taxes. Don't do that. Because we have people who get a lot of money. That's what they do. They do charitable things, and they use it as write-offs. Don't use nothing fake. It's no write-offs. But, hey, let's get into the video. I've been with you for the past seven months, and I can honestly okay. say, Fredo, you you go on social media and you talk about how oh I'm changing these people's lives, I'm okay. making their lives better, I'm doing better for them, I'm putting money in their pocket. This see, that's why I don't care if I gotta move at a snail's pace. I don't care if I whatever I gotta do. That's why I'm not gonna be up under nobody. Because I'm not about to have somebody telling me this, saying they changed my life, they did this for me, they, nah, I just can't do that. Listen, dad, bada bing, bada boom, my nigga, stop the cap. Ever since you moved to New York, you've made my life a living hell. You've made me uh. do things that I wasn't comfortable doing. Well, he, well... He didn't, I mean, come on now. Y'all know what I feel about Pretty Boy Fredo. I mean, you want to talk about bottom of the burrow as far as just manhood, it's Pretty Boy Fredo. But he didn't force you to do, did he threaten violence? He didn't force you to do anything. I don't know, but here's the thing. I don't know how old this dude is. Somebody clue me in. If this dude is like 18, 17, then I kind of understand it because he's young, impressionable, and still growing up. But just as advice for the future, especially if you're in your 20s, Come on, bro. That's not an excuse no more. He made me do things I wasn't comfortable with. No, you chose to do things you weren't comfortable with. That's on you. You've made you've you've lied on my name countless times. You've made you've made so much money off of me that I haven't seen a dime of. I haven't seen. And here's my thing. Now we might not get through this whole thing. Y'all know how I do reactions. Here's my thing. When you see somebody like Fredo do other people like that. What makes him think he's not going to do you like that? That's the thing. We look at it. You looked at it from the outside and you seen Fredo do this person dirty. You seen him do that person dirty. You seen him do that person dirty. You seen him do that person dirty. People coming out against him talking about how he did them dirty. And you got with him again. I'm assuming that he's a man, that he's a, an, an adult. Let me know if I'm wrong. But this goes out for the adults anyway. That's like a chick. You see him beat up on the last four women, and you're going get, to get with him hoping, oh, no, nah, he ain't going to beat me up. And then when he do, you act shocked. No, the way that he do other people, he's going to do you. In a dime. All these videos where Fredo like, oh, winner gets 60K, winner gets 100K, winner gets 80K. That's all cap. That is. And I always knew that was like, at first I thought maybe it'd be true, but he was going some off the off the wall stuff. Like Fredo would be like, 
um i uh i shot i shot a i shot a man in the knee and gave him a hundred thousand for his medical bills like he he'll do some goofy shit like that so at that point i kind of knew ah, i know it's not real but the fact that people people are saying that those charity videos are fake oh that 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 shit is wild Literally all cap. Look, I can literally go on my phone right now. I would go on my phone and I would drop all the videos that I've been in and I would tell you how the videos are fake and how they're fake. And I can tell you about the other videos, how they I mean his videos are they, they don't even seem real, so I mean fake. So I'ma stop my screen recording right now and we're gonna go down the list. I'm afraid to move to New York okay. about eight months ago, right? He okay. Moved about eight months ago, right? That seems about right, right? The first ever video that I was ever in was Come on man. Come on, get on with was, it, bro. Was DMing a hundred Instagram models to see who replied. That video was fake. Okay. F now here's the thing. With somebody like him, with like Fredo who got a lot of money, who got a lot of a lot of internet clout, you would think that that may have not been completely false. But with Fredo, you never know. And then you see it, it got 2.2 million views. I mean, come on, man. So you saying he's making fake videos? I can't really get on him about that because I'm pretty sure a lot of people that's watching it know that it's fake. But when you say subscri surprising subscriber with a new life, and I'm not saying you didn't do that, but I'm saying with people, when people are telling, or people are saying that you were making fake uh charity videos offering people stuff and then once the camera stop rolling you're taking it back or that's not really a homeless person that's not really a when you got an actor to act like a dang old pedophile like bro i already knew what type of time he was on so hey and this dude should know too first off damien and fredo already had girls pre-planned to dm to have to respond and okay me, and mind you this is my first time ever in that's video. just the game so i still think that these videos are somewhat real and you actually get something out of these videos correct no so they but so and my only other thing is the people stop stop, stop pausing the video shut up the um my only other thing is if it's people in your crew that you're saying you're gonna pay you need to pay them so so they already planned who to dm so it was guaranteed that i would lose a challenge i really don't care I about this have to get my nipples pills now oh what if you say something like that again i'm cutting i'm cutting the video off when fredo told me oh you lost the challenge so your punishment is you got to get your nipples pills i wasn't i wasn't down to do it at all i told him why no, did you do I it i don't feel comfortable doing that shit now i I'll do sh shit like that. I don't care now because I'm used to it. But before I was used to it. So this man lied to me and he told me, oh, I'll give you $1,000 for each nipple you pierce. I never received that money. $1,000 for each nipple you pierce? You said that like he had eight or something. He only got two. I swear to God on my life, I never, you know me, I'm not, I'm not the one to lie about shit like this. I never yeah, received Yeah, it's believable that he didn't video. pay you. That's the. F okay, but at that point, you should have dipped at that point take the clout and just dip see one thing that i don't even want to say it like this because i don't want to give them no respect but one thing that certain women whether you call them gold diggers clout chasers got right is that they're not going to get invested in in you they're going to take what they can take and then they're going to dip that's what you should have did now I, I I but I don't know the situation I don't know the situation but Fredo I mean if this guy seems like he's young maybe impressionable and come on Fredo like the people that's around you it pay them I know you a scumbag like but you don't you you don't even treat your you don't even treat your baby mama right I mean come on first video second video I was a part of a hundred thousand exchange challenge loser gets kicked out SSH. My nigga, this video is fake on so many levels. First off, yeah. all the challenges was already predetermined who would win the challenge. And it was determined that I would win the whole thing because it because it makes it makes it more believable that I would choose to kick Keith out of SSH because I just got the SSH. Right. That video was fake. I never received sixty thousand dollars. I never received nothing. I didn't win nothing. All I received was a bunch of hate from a bunch of 13-year-old kids. But here's the thing. 
Fredo, are you telling the people that's making the videos with you that's actually in SSH that the videos are real? And then you're not paying them? Because if, if it's all, look, th and this is the problem. If he's already telling you it's a predetermined winner, I'm pretty sure you can, you can come to the conclusion that he's not going to pay you. It seems as if you've been participating in these fake videos. You was okay with getting the clout from faking and deceiving people. But then when he started to treat you like he treats everybody else, you seen this man treat his baby mama, the woman he was with at the time. You see him treat her bad on camera. What do you think he going to do with you? But you may be young. Because they believe, because they believe that that shit was real. But I, I'm going to tell you right now, kids, the shit was fake. That's the second fake video. And kids don't care. Third video, crashing red on online college classes. That, that was probably the realest video he made in the past six months. I ain't going to cap. What we won against fans for the Jordan Dio ones. He okay. took those Dio ones back. I swear to God on my life. He gave those kids the, the, the Dio ones and he asked for. Bro, no. Fredo. Fredo. We might have to stop it right here because it's going on too long. Fredo, don't tell me you promised to look here some shoes. And then when the video was, it's not funny, but then when the video was off, you took them back, bruh. Bruh, you could buy the whole store out with probably 5% of your YouTube check, bruh. And you bought the, and you took them back. Put it back and he sold the deal one and he got his money back. He never gave a kid no deal one. Cat. So was the so did the kid know that he wasn't gonna get him? Hold on, let me let me let me run that back, y'all. We sometimes gotta run some shit back. Hold up, hold up. He made in the past six months. I ain't gonna cap. One v one against fans for the Jordan Dio ones. He took those Dio ones back. I swear to God on my life. He so he took the, the the Dio ones and he asked for it back and he sold the Dio ones and he got his money back. He never gave a kid no Dio ones. Wow, wow. Okay, so it seems like this is gonna be fake some fake stuff and he make fake videos and he do this but you take jordan you give a kid some jordans probably jordans that he can't afford to buy himself he gotta beg his parents for and then you take them back come on fredo fredo at some point grow up bro fredo is one of those type of people where something and i'm not and knock on wood i'm not wanting this to happen but he one of these dudes that he needs something really crazy off the wall bad to happen to him to have him to open his eyes and wake up and change. But it was this one part that people was talking about that I want to hear some part about some type of, I don't know, y'all see. So I was high as fuck, but I still knew that the training was a fuck. Oh, uh, yeah, this is I the part. I had smoked, I had fixed up. So when the training would pull up, Bro, what? And okay. He, money back. he never gave a kid no deal one. Okay, let's see. Cat. Last and scream with a hundred thousand dollars. Cat. The whole reason so I watched this video. Day with a man. Cat. You know what this nigga did? This nigga intentionally got me high. So when the tranny would pull up, he said he. This dude gotta be young. He said he intentionally got me high. What do you mean, bro? He. He didn't. Did he roofie you or something? Like, what do you mean he intentionally got you high? Like. Did he slip weed? Did he act? Did he give you an edible or something like, or did you just smoke? And uh, I don't know. I wouldn't notice that it was actually a nigga because I know who that is. I'm not a fucking idiot. I know who the fuck these niggas are. Correct. So. So he sent you on a date with a dude. By the time the bitch got there, I wasn't high no more. I had no. Smoke, I had that's not a. That's no. That's not a no. That's a dude. The whole blunt. This is before I started smoking. Okay. I started smoking, so I couldn't control my high. So I was high as fuck, but I still knew that the training was a fucking nigga. So okay, all right, that's it, that's it. We gonna stop it right there because he going into some stuff that I don't even want to go into. He looked like he finna reveal some stuff about himself that he not even planning on doing. But if you gonna sit here and do this stuff, don't complain later. Was you okay? Cause have have you? I don't know if he ever spoke up. He may have not spoken up. But when you see Fredo do somebody else dirty, do you speak up and say, man, Fredo, that was fucked up, bro? Or do you be like, oh, shit, it ain't me? Well, now it is you. Now it is you. So, again, you see him do all these people dirty. You think he's not going to do you dirty. Two things in here. First of all, bro. First of all, bro. Don't. It, it, you If you see how he's treating you, like, after that, you should have been gone. 
He trying to send you on a date with a dude and he trying to get and he's trying to get you. High. I mean, I don't know what that means, especially if you're a grown man, but you get high and you go out on a date and they try to send you out on a date with a dude. That look like a God, I don't... Fredo, you my age, bro. You are well, almost my like Fredo. It's time, bro. Come on, man. Come on, man. Come on, bro. Like, geez, Louise. But why would he stop if he getting all these views? But uh, I, I, I think we gonna stop it right here because this dude already seemed like a little. I, I, I don't know. He seemed like a little like he might be young. He might seem like a little weird. Somebody Fredo could say, "Hey, I'm gonna put a lot of money in your pocket, and you can take care of your family." But then he's just gonna absolutely violate you. Nothing is free. Nothing is free. For all y'all that's finna run up under these big YouTubers, don't just think you just finna get a handout. Nothing is free. They gonna take it and they're gonna hold it over you. They're gonna hold it over you. And and, and to Fredo, I mean, what more can you say about Fredo? Fredo know who he is. At this point, Fredo, like, I know I'm a scumbag. That's just who I am. I know I'm a bottom of the burrow human being. That's just who I am. I'm gonna keep doing it. And as long as he keep making bread, then he will. But Fredo, when karma come back around, I, I bruh, I feel sorry for you. Cause, cause she, she do come. Come on, man. She is gonna come knocking. So let me know what y'all think. We didn't get through a lot of the video. I'm not really interested in other stuff he had to say. But let me know what y'all think. Like and subscribe. I'll holler at y'all later.